are they? I know, right? Where do you even get socks that long? <laughs> Probably orders them in a special room. <laughs> I bet you're right. Hey, hey, are you going to Cats on Friday night? Yes. Are you? <laughs> Should be fun. <laughs> hey, do you want to go together? Yes. Do you want to come to mine first? Done. Okay, hey. I was thinking of cutting my hair like up to here. I don't know. Like, like 1920s, Great Gatsby style. Maybe. Uh, seriously can't wait for the school holidays. This term feels like it's going on forever. Hey, how come you don't wear the hijab? I just don't. Does it bother you that I don't? I was just asking. There's nothing in the Quran that says a woman's head needs to be covered. I don't know about that. You really should wear one. Why should I? I don't know, to be a good Muslim. So now I'm not a good Muslim. I, I didn't say that. I, I... Oh, but I'm not a good Muslim as you are. Hmm. Mm. Okay, well, why don't you wear the burqa? What? If you're so religious, why don't you wear the full burqa? <laughs> it cover your full face. Why not a hijab? I, I, I don't know. I don't even know anyone that wears a burqa. Oh, so you wear one because everybody else does. <laughs> Is it the more covered you are, the more religious you are? Oh, I didn't know it was a competition. I'm just saying it's a sign of modesty and humility to wear one. That's not where it comes from. Originally, it was a luxury, you know, a sign of social status and class. Yet yeah, only wealthy women could afford to wear a veil. Well, I'm pretty sure you can afford to wear one. So you should respect yourself enough and wear it. So now I have no self-respect. I'm just saying. It's sent a bad signal to men, and you're inviting trouble. Oh, oh my gosh. I have a major problem with that one. Okay, that, that effectively, effectively says that, that all men are so weak that they'll turn into animals at the mean glimpse of a woman's hair. And unfair to women. Okay, sure, there's some bad people out there, but this idea of inviting trouble effectively clears bad people of any responsibility for their own actions and instead puts the blame on the victim. What, so you want to ban the hijab now? Of course! Yes, I right? don't want that. Look, there are some countries where women are forced to wear it. But it's just as bad to force women not to wear it, huh? Look, I'm just saying I personally don't want to wear one and I don't see a reason to. I wear it to show people that I'm Muslim and that I'm proud of that. That's just great. <laughs> but you have to remember it is a cultural thing as much as a religious thing, okay? Veils and headscarves, they're traditional in the Middle East. But they date back well before Islam. It was common for Jews and even some Christians to wear them too. There are some countries where nobody wears them and, and there are some countries where everybody does. And, well, my family just doesn't come from that tradition, that's all. So, well, and I'd hope that if, if, if they did, they wouldn't force me to wear one and, and allow me to make my own choice. If you want to wear one, go for it. But don't tell me I'm not a good Muslim because I choose not to. You worship your way. It should be about being superior to each other. It should be about personal choice. And it is my choice not to wear one.
Yeah, okay, I, I didn't know all of that. I'm really sorry, I shouldn't have said that stuff. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Forced to wear one, do you? No, I want to. It's my choice. Good. And you know, I mean, sometimes it's easier. I don't have to worry about what I'm doing with my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that. See, I like doing things with my hair. <laughs> I know, and that's cool. Yeah. You know, I think you'd really rock that 1920s look. You reckon? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do it then. Especially with the school holidays coming up, I'll be able to go out in my flapper dress. You do not own a flapper dress. You do not. No. Yeah.